Hi, this is attorney Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago as usual and I'm excited today where I'm finally getting around to the Bears Law and Forensic Team. It's been suggested by a lot of people and it does beg the question who's crazier Bears Law or Marrakesh Law Society. Please tell me in the comment section below but we're going to call this little bit Sovereign Citizens number eight. Let's do it. Here we go. You, I just actually I wanted to come down to find out um, when exactly David Ray's Bayes' uh, court date would be. And is it the clerk's office for that? Is clerk's office. Here a victim? Uh, nope, just my brother. Uh, dummy, if you want to know when someone's court date is, you can look that up. <laughs> you don't need to barge into an office and ask for somebody's court date. But this is the state's attorney's office, right? Okay, then I have to give you also an official notice. No, I don't take anything like that. Oh, you don't? <laughs> yeah. She doesn't consent. I love it. Let me get the investigator. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Where are you from? Video tables. Bears Law. Bears Law and Forensic Science Team. Didn't you see all their cute little shirts? Somebody's here. Um, they want to give us some kind of papers from Bears Law and Forensic Science Team. No, from them to us. Okay, thank you. Have a seat. Somebody write with you. Thank you, Doug. He's got a blank W9. Okay. <laughs> right. Are you you're proud of that? Oh, hello. Obstructing and non compliance. Okay. We're here in the state's attorney's office. And we're actually going to let them, uh, we're going to put them on notice that we are. Hi, this is Frankie with the Sovereign Citizen Patrol, and I'd like to remind you to please hit like and subscribe, or I'll be personally offended. Basis court date is. They do a weird thing here where they're uh, doing a voiceover instead of the actual audio, but it, it gets back to normal. I believe it's in November, the same judge or something like that, and then we'll move from there. But we want to let them know that today, if the state picks up the charges, it's against the law. It will constitute a criminal. Oh, don't let that cat out of the bag. Uh, act and move, and we will go ahead and file a 1099. Uh, uh, commercial lien and affidavit of truth, a statement of facts, a bill of laden, a bill of attainder, and the state prosecutor is very likely to end up with no 401k and a prison sentence for retirement. So we'll get to see what happens, but no matter what today. I'm thinking you're the one that ends up without a 401k and a prison sentence, but who knows? Uh, title 18 USC 2381 and canon number seven, they might want to uphold an honor because if they don't, the state prosecutor can go to prison for sedition, racketeering, and capital felony treason. And I don't mind putting judicial officials in prison. Bears Law and Forensic Science team. Peace. Judicial officials don't mind putting you in prison, which is a much more likely scenario. All right, hey Tom. We're going to present the state attorney with a W-9 tax form. They are a for-profit and gain corporation. As of now, right, they are unlawfully and maliciously prosecuting David Bates. So we're going to go ahead and present them with a W-9 tax form. And if they refuse to fill this out, we'll go ahead and fill out a 3949A suspicious activity form along with it. <gasps> Not a 3949 suspicious activity form. I mean, this this literally like sounds like something made up on a cartoon. Vincent 101 to the IRS and the Treasury detailing misappropriation of public funds, embezzlement, obstruction, and non-compliance of Title 26 slash 26 CFR. There's the rest of the team. I like I like the one that just just perusing a magazine. <laughs> The rest of them are just dropping their word salad, but there's a guy over there just, just trying to get through the National Geographic. It's too good. Hmm? They also want to charge us to be able to uh, speak with my brother. They want to charge me to put money in his canteen. This is capital felony treason. And uh, no, it's not. 
Today, that's going to stop all the way across the country. So I want you to know that Bears Law Forensic Science Team will probably be some of the people that added to that. that there's going to be no more paying to put money on the books. There's going to be no more charging me through little cameras not to see my counsel and not to let me speak to them face to face because that's going to constitute criminal damages, sedition, racketeering, capital felony, treason. And then we will definitely submit a bill, a bill of attainder, a bill of laden, a commercial lien. Uh, and that bill will definitely be ignored. I'd like to see it, though, because it would be funny. Uh, a, sta a statement of facts and an affidavit of truth puts judicial officials in prison when they violate the oath of office in the canon uh, number seven, Title 18 U.S.C. 2381. Okay, this is about the third time I've seen the affidavit of truth. Now, I don't know if that has some basis somewhere. It just it just sounds crazy to me. <laughs> Uh, an affidavit is, is a sworn statement, and, and you swear that, that you're giving the truth um, when you sign it, okay? So I, I've, I've, you know, I've been doing this about 25 years now, and I've never seen something called an affidavit of truth. It's just an affidavit on a topic, yeah, and it's usually what you, you type out what a witness would say. And that's the context I see it in. So today, we're going to have to make sure that that doesn't take place. Because any forfeiture or violation or deprivation of his rights is going to constitute uh, recourse for remedy damages. And we will seek remedy for the recourse done by the state. The state has no jurisdiction or authority to pick up the charges against David Ray Bays. And in the event that they do, someone's ass is going to prison. Pick Based on what jurisdiction? If the state doesn't have jurisdiction, who has jurisdiction to put somebody in prison? Just, just a question. Pick a judge, pick a state attorney, pick a judicial official because you have no immunity. Please, make my day. I don't mind. And please, pick a color for your jumpsuit. Orange or brown. I believe those are the colors they offer today for treasonous the, and racketeering and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, blue. Okay. Well, whatever the colors are. I'm not familiarized because I'm not going to be in those, but I know a bunch of people that are. So those of those that uh, don't comprehend or don't understand, it's okay. We're out here in the field making the difference. While some of you uh, computer heroes are sitting around talking shit, we're out here. Uh, you're in the lobby of the state's attorney's office in matching t-shirts. <laughs> it's not heroic, my friend. You're walking through the shit, changing shit. So, uh, oh yeah, to all the militias and bike groups and stuff that won't show up to help, you're a bunch of cowards. I just want you to know that. And to all the bike groups and militias that did help, thank you and God bless you guys. We just wait on these people to show up. They're supposed to be sending down a legal analyst to deal with us. <laughs> the state attorneys <laughs> office because they don't know how. <laughs> Real easy. We're talking to them all. It's easy. <coughs> Somebody need to give some papers here or what? Yes, yeah. my name is Ronnie Davis. Here's Lawford's Senate Steve. I'm going to give some papers here. Are you Nathan? Uh, actually, I am the counsel of a victim. I'm counsel of. Oh, Lord. Another guy thinks he's an attorney. Oh. No, you're not. I mean, well, you can call yourself counsel of if, if, as long as you don't mean by that that you're an attorney because you're not. Uh, the state's picking up the charge in his own brother. Yeah. They don't we, need, we need the state's attorney. Uh, we like the judge on the state's attorney. It goes down to Clearwater. It doesn't come here. Well, is the state attorney here? No. The main office is in Clearwater. Oh, okay. Then is, do they, have <laughs> <laughs> they went to the wrong office. I love it. The boss there that we were supposed to speak to, sir, because I got to have a list of names of all the people that sent me someplace else because I'm submitting a commercial media bill of attainment. A bill of laden and the are, are you a licensed attorney here? No such thing, sir. So you're no, not licensed? I, no, sir. And I don't I have one, one judge in law enforcement. I got one judge in prison already because I don't see me. Or no. legitimate law enforcement officer. You got a judge in prison. I want to see it. Show me. Show me the proof. I'm calling it out. There, are you certified by the state? We don't have to. You're be not a Actually, sir, I got one judge in prison. There's 11 judges in prison. Are you recording this? I strongly yes, suggest I have the common law. By the common law of what? By common law. Oh, the common law. I don't recognize that. You're not a law enforcement your officer. Name is, okay. your, your, your name is, sir. What Your name is? You need to deal with it. Clue. What? Everything what? is down clue. I got you. What's your name, sir? Your last name is Becker. B-A-R-O-Y. All right. Thank so you for your professionalism. I appreciate that, sir. You have a good day, sir. You ready, guys? Yep. All right. Thank you very much. As a for-profit and gain corporation, you have no jurisdiction and no legitimacy. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Schwer versus the board, board of bar examiners. Okay. They got it. They got it.
Now okay. we go to Clearwater and we submit another bill of attainment, commercial land and a bill of activity. Anything that we can. Big collecting here. Uh, elevator right here. Clerk on it. Yeah, let's just take work. The clerk of court's in the building, right? Yeah. The clerk of court is in the building. Isn't it That's the last house here. Yeah, yeah. Where we went before. Well, we struck out on uh, seeing the state's attorney, so let's go visit the clerk of court. And, that, and that's where we'll go. Yeah, that's where we're going to get the EIN for the clerk. That's where we'll go. Because you're a very smart people. Mm hmm. No. Well, I don't recognize that. Bar license. No, I'm glad he gave us his name. Now he gets a bill. Yep. Oh. It's hard to believe this elevator is absolutely packed full of people who believe this nonsense. Idiocy knows no bounds. Idiocracy. <laughs> I can't even take it. Idiocy knows no bounds. Uh, she actually had the temerity to utter that phrase while, while sitting in her Bears Law Forensic uh, team T-shirt that matches all of all of the other people in the elevator. That's what it is. Oh, Lord. Lord. The bear pod. I, I, I can't see you as, or, as a uh, main lobby next. I said I've got to say the same thing back to the well, I don't yeah. see you as one either. Right? But well, I can't even say as I am. So I don't care what you do. Exactly. Paperwork is the law. Yeah. This is where it was last time. The criminal. Yeah. Yeah. Clerk of Court. But we got a we got a, a video. That's that's good enough. The the clerk of courts for Pasco County is about to get a 3949A suspicious activity form along with a fence in 101. <laughs> a suspicious activity form. Okay. To the IRS and the Treasury, you know, he's he's obligated under the law to hire or elect get elected lawful judges, not bankers. Okay, as a for-profit and gain corporation, this building has no legitimacy, no jurisdiction. They have nothing. They're not even supposed to be doing this. They do have a snack bar. Uh, commerce into a court of record is capital felony treason and violates your oath of office under title 18 usc 2381 canon number seven i you know he's off on his word salad and we'll finish it here in a second but boy do they love the irs it's all irs forms i don't know why they think they're sort of anti-establishment types but they just worship at the altar of the irs for some reason as if they're the ultimate uh, arbiter of everything it's it's very strange therefore you're no longer immune when you give away your immunity you're punishable like any other criminal today that's happening with a bill of laden a bill of attainder a commercial lien a statement of facts and an affidavit of truth that does wow. carry weight there's no such thing as a law license under title 17 usc 28 uh there's no such thing as a law license i have one in my wallet uh, I, i'm not so sure about an affidavit of truth at least not if you want to be taken seriously <laughs> <laughs> versus the Board of Bar Examiners, 353 U.S. 238, 239, 252, 353. Okay, so here we are. It's uh, Schwer versus Board of Examiners. I'm going to focus on B here. It says the state can require high standards of qualifications such as good moral character or proficiency in its laws before it admits an applicant to the bar. But any qualification must have a rational connection with the applicant's fitness or capacity to practice law. This case simply does not stand for the proposition that uh, there is no such thing as a law license or you can't permit or you can't prohibit people from practicing law. You certainly can and should, and that's the implication of this case, um, prohibit people from practicing law unless they are licensed. And they're setting forth uh, the, the process to, to allow people to become licensed. That, that's what's going on. When you listen to these capital felony extortionist treasonists in this building <clears throat> tell you that they're actually engaged in enforcing the law they're not they're engaged in enforcing policy it's not a enforced law enforcement officer it is a policy enforcement officer that's why they're called police it stands for policy most uh, people don't know this today no it doesn't they're law enforcement officers and they enforce the law 
and uh, the 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 uh, the similarity in in one syllable of that word does it does does not change the meaning. Much like a township is not a vessel. Okay. Hey, two more judges and a state attorney go to prison like the other eleven judges that we got in prison. They keep on telling us you gotta have a law. Wait a second. You just told me you got one put in prison. I called you out and said that I absolutely do not believe. But now we're going 11. That's bold. I, I, I need you to show some receipts here, my friend. I'm not buying it. There's no such thing as a law license, dumbass. And that's why you're going to jail. And that's okay. Bears Law Forensic Science Team. See you again. Now it's just mill around aimlessly. <laughs> oh, well, there you have it. That is some kind of crazy. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that. I Like I said, I've had lots of requests for that. I finally got around to it. I just did the first little bit because it was so full of delicious awfulness that, uh, that, that that's all I could I could take for the day and I didn't want the video to get too long but if there's any interest I can complete it that there, there's more to that video and there's there's more where that came from <laughs> I don't even know what it contains but I'm, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fun here at Law Talk we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court and every once in a while and completely by accident I assure you you might learn something thanks for watching